What is going on, Lama Nation? We are back with another Gundam build. And what we have for you here is the Sinanju from the OVA Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn. This, uh, that series came out in about 2010, lasted seven episodes till about 2014. Hit the U.S. in 2017, and you can currently watch it on Hulu. I will have a link in the description. But I've always thought that this is one of the most gorgeous kits out there. And I've been trying to get my hands on this one for quite some time. Now that I finally got it, we're going to build it. Let's get started.
All right, Lama Nation. So we finished the build, and I gotta tell you, this was very enjoyable. I just think the Sinanju is absolutely gorgeous for a model kit, and the real great details of this just knocked it out of the park. This is straight out of the box. Um, no panel lining. I wouldn't do that later. Um, no real customization. I'm probably gonna, you know, paint some of the what do you call those thrusters? We got a lot of thrusters everywhere. Panel lining, of course. Some of the gold parts they had stickers for, or actually bronze parts. I don't know if you can uh, see this in here, but got some bronze stickering on it so might paint those but uh, all in all one hell of a build uh, it wasn't really that crazy difficult either uh, it was just actually really enjoyable and I just think the Sinanju is one of the most gorgeous oop um, yeah that happens kneecaps fall off had that happen a few times so watch out for that yeah I mean all in all it was a great build uh, it does have a backpack the problem is uh, when this is on that, uh, it tends to fall over. So, and I don't have an extra stand right now available. So, yeah, the backpack is going to stay off. Same thing with the uh, shield here, as it is pretty hefty shield. I mean, it's almost a little bit more than about half the size of the total Gundam itself. So, but all in all, pretty great build. And uh, let's get to the size comparisons. All right, so here we are. Here it is compared to the HG high grade RX 78 2 Gundam. All right, and here it is next to the real grade God Gundam. As you can see, the Sinanju is quite a bit bigger, and these are both 1 144th scale. And then here we have it next to the 1 100th scale full mechanics Calamity Gundam. So even though the Sinanju is 1144th, and this is 1100. Sinanju is not that far behind size wise, uh, especially if we add that backpack and uh, shield. It's a pretty big kit. I find uh, what's funny though is that <laughs> the Sinanju cannot stand by itself. I've, I've tried every which way with that backpack and the shield on, and it just does not want to stand by itself. Tips over. I think the waist joint is very flimsy that could be half the problem but uh anyway there you go with the size comparison guys